One of the most important things that we can do on this program is bring you the voices of chief executives who are at the coal face in many ways. And there's no sector of the economy that's more hit, perhaps, at the moment than the hospitality industry, airlines, hospitality, transportation, and healthcare. With me is the chief executive of Accor Hotel, Sebastian Bazin. Uh, Accor, a giant French group, of course. Sebastian is with me um, to talk about this. Good to have you, sir. Thank you for taking time. Um, first of all, the, I mean, uh, of the thousands of the, the hotels that, uh, of the hotels that you've got, five thousand. How how are you managing? How many of them are even open? Well, not enough. Uh, we have today three thousand of the hotels being closed, which is almost uh, eighty percent. And unfortunately, every day passing, I'm closing another one hundred. When you close them, they're in different countries, different jurisdictions, which have, of course, different national policies about uh, furloughs and government support. What's the company's policy here? Well, company policy has been uh, extremely clear. Is You're absolutely correct, Richard. We operate in 110 countries, so we have vast different set of legislation between what's happening in France to what's happening in Laos or in Chile or in Dubai, for that matter. So what we decided is, you, you're correct, was in the most difficult decision I've made in exactly five days between the 22nd and the 27th of March, is realizing that I went in 10 days from 20 countries out of 100 being in confinement to 10 days later, 70 countries today, 90 countries in confinement, lockdown, i.e. no traffic, and no necessity to actually have the hotel open. So over the same seven days, we had to look after all the general manager of all the hotels on the planet, talk to the country head, talk to basically the social people to make sure they understand full transparency, share with them the debacle, what we're facing, ask right. them to basically accept the furlough. And what we decided to do is since a lot of them will go from 100% pay to 20% paycheck because of the current legislation is not too kind to them as opposed to Paris, right. which is 90 percent, decided to actually make sure the company itself, Accor, will have 70 million euros set aside from the dividend precisely to make sure that nobody is being vastly harmed individually basis right. and that 100 percent of my 200,000 people being furloughed, each of them, wherever they are, will have access to hospital in case they're being hit by the COVID and will have enough to basically pay for food for the family, even uh, though the sorry. national government that doesn't pay for it. What do you think the normal looks like towards the end of the year? As, as we start to reopen again, obviously you've got a group of people who are planning for what it will look like. What are those plans? What do they tell you? Well, the, the plan is it is two sets of plans. There's a plan for the next 60 days in which I know it's going to be extraordinarily difficult until the epidemic is under control in all the different continents. The other set of plan, of course, is one you being very cautious and very kind, human, and caring for everybody. You have to prepare for the rebound because you're going to have blue sky coming your way. You just don't know when. So when we're going to be reopening, my guesstimate is you're going to see more people but closer to home, basically staying within their own country, right. and finally visiting people of France, visiting France as opposed to go to Spain or Greece. And uh, so France has many wonders, so does many other countries. Do you, but do, I guess I'm trying to, uh, to, to understand, do you imagine that the accord of 2021 and 2022 will be much smaller than the company is, with number of hotels is today? And so is no, no, no. The company will be bigger in 2021 and bigger in 2022. We're still signing a lot of hotels uh, to be open even this year. We signed over the last three months 8,000 more rooms in the worst ever market environment. So count on me and count on our core. Our core is growing. We're going to go through this crisis as tough as it is. It's not going to stop the hotel right. tourism industry to grow, nor it would stop all the main operators like ACO and my peers in America. Got it. Don't bet against our industry. Our industry is a formidable industry. It's formidable, and we will talk to you as this continues, sir.